Fairfax? We've won the seat of Fairfax. <laughs> Fisher. Are you claiming victory? I certainly am. <laughs> and Wide Bay. An LNP whitewash Labor's Julie McGlone was hoping to prevent when polls opened on Saturday morning. That's the one. That's the one that's going to do it. But an hour into the count, it became clear it wasn't to be for her in Fairfax. I don't think we're going to see any shift in the way this country perceives itself on the world stage, and that terrifies me. The loss spelling the end of the candidate's political aspirations. <laughs> I am done like a dinner. I wish the next candidate all the best. Meanwhile, in LMP camp, Ted O'Brien wasn't willing to claim victory just yet. It is early days and things are looking positive here in the seat of Fairfax, but it's not time to be pre-empting anything. But as the night went on, there was soon no denying he'd be returning to Canberra. We want to continue serving people locally. Plans echoed by Fisher's Andrew Wallace. Tonight's victory in Fisher is a victory for the people of the Sunshine Coast. As celebrations continued in Fisher, <laughs> commiserations were on the agenda for Labor candidate Daniel Parcell. Obviously disappointing. I actually gave Andrew just a phone call before, a quick thank you. Today, the vote count showed Ted O'Brien ahead in Fairfax with almost 65% of the two-candidate preferred vote. Andrew Wallace had just over 62 in Fisher, and in Wide Bay, Lou O'Brien had secured 62.69%. Sophie Ryan, Nine News.